Hello world, this is Cut the Internet Podcast. I'm Trey. And I'm Zay. Now let's get down to business. Should women applaud men for not cheating? Now it was Reason from Drevo. Okay. That's his name, right? From Dream- Dreamville? Wait, Dreamville, yeah. Yeah, I believe so. He yes. came on the Breakfast Club. He said it. Um, I know somebody else said it. Mm-hmm. And I kept hearing it. I was like, okay, is this a serious thing? I was like, okay. And if somebody else said it, I was like, really? And then I saw a post where they're like, if a woman cheats, that's equivalent to a man cheating 137 times. I was like, <laughs> really? So okay. my question for you is, <laughs> Should men be applauded or for being faithful in a relationship? Okay, so there's two <laughs> answers I'm gonna give. One, I fully think that a woman cheating one time is equivalent to 138 times. Um, <laughs> I'll just say it, but that's just my heart. But okay, um, my honest answer, being for real, I think women should applaud men not cheating and I think that men should applaud women not cheating I think once you know who you're with and you're proud of who you're with and you you should in my opinion take them as a prize be happy that they that I don't know how how to explain it but know that they're not willing to move step out on your relationship like of course they shouldn't cheat and you shouldn't cheat but at the end of the day we all know that there's outside entities pulling at us. Mm -hmm. And so for you to stay strong in your commitment, it should be applauded and vice versa. If we're keeping our bond true, if we're keeping our, our focuses on each other, then I think that you should give me credit knowing that at the end of the day, no matter what we're going through, I'm staying loyal. At the end of the day, no matter what you're going through, you're staying loyal. I should be taking that for granted. That, that, that's how I see it. What about you? So that was a great response. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that was more of a general, like in a relationship kind yeah. of response. So, I mean, I agree with what you're saying. I'm not yeah. even trying to- Give me to... an applause, man. I actually wrote this down. Let me, let me just, I got that one out. I got it out. I got it out, bro. <laughs> Hit her with the gems, bro. Go on. Anything else you want to ask? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was like, I agree with what you're saying. Yeah. Now, with, like, see, and this is what the problem is. The way you're explaining it is not the way I think these people are yeah. expecting it to be. I think they just feel like, hey, if I'm faithful, like, yo, you should be happy that I'm faithful. It's like, mm-hmm. there's a little bit more to that. There's like, when I was talking about the cyberbullying thing. Yeah. I said, but it's like, there was more yeah. that needed to yeah. be explained for it to, yeah. but I feel like you explained it perfectly. They're just saying it, and I believe that's what they mean. So that's what the problem yeah. is. Like, there should be no reason for you to feel like your woman should applaud you for being faithful. Like, if you guys All are right. in a relationship, so, together, so let me let me also give a secondary answer. So my first answer is how I truly feel, but mm. the second answer is if You're I'm just being an a hole. No, I'm being real. Like, if let's say I'm LeBron, or I'm just trying to think, um, Chris Brown. Aisha Curry. No, no, I'm not Aisha. Why would I be Aisha? Why could I be Steph? Well, the time when she was saying how. Oh yeah, I get you. I get you. I'm like, why? Why I gotta be Aisha? But she's the man of the house. But but okay, so let's say I'm. Yeah, so let's say I'm one of them, right? Now, okay, not even LeBron, because I won't say LeBron. I'll say, let's say I'm Chris Brown or somebody. Now I get into a relationship after the fact. You should, there should be some kind of an understanding that I am who I am. And that sounds messed up. But let's say I, let's say I was dating Rihanna, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rihanna. And, and I'm a happily married man, so I, there's no chance that I would. Even if she came at me, I'd be like, ill, get away. So if, <laughs> but hypothetically, if I was with Rihanna, now we're together. I know we're together, but she's like, listen, from time to time, I might step out. I think 
I'm not saying I would co-sign it, but I don't blame, or she's not stepping out, but she's like, you know that I can. You know, this billionaire from Dubai told me to just hang out with him. He would give me $20 billion and I'm staying at home with you. I could give her a clap her hands for not cheating. Cause I'd be like, thank you. I appreciate you. So I think that's where they're talking from more of a narcissistic, narcissistic point of view or, mm -hmm. but I get it. I get that if they met you at the peak of your fame and who you are and you t chose to turn your life around for them, I can see someone being like, can I get that credit? No. I beg to differ. Like, okay. I agree with your first point. Your second point doesn't make no sense. Like, you don't have to be in a relationship. Right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. It just hurt my feelings. I don't like when people don't agree with me. I'm sorry. No, go like, ahead. <laughs> you don't have to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So why commit yourself to somebody if you know this is what you want to do? Because... So do you, do you believe in the con? Sorry to cut. Actually, finish what you're saying, then I'll ask you something else. Yeah. Okay. As long as you're both on the same page. So mm -hmm. don't try to make me feel like I got a prize because I'm with you and you're whoever you are. Like, hey, you know who I am? I'm Rihanna. I can't mess with anybody, but I'm here with you. Thank Like, go F yourself. Like, no. Like, mm -hmm. okay, you, no, not that I would say that to her because if she gave me a chance, I'm just joking. Um, hey, <laughs> but no, for real, bro. It's <laughs> you, God, dude. Um, but for real, for real, like, mm -hmm. don't make, don't try to make me feel like I'm less important just because you're famous. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you're a human just like I'm a human. Facts. Facts. Now you may be able to reach out to more people because mm -hmm. you're more famous and people know who you are, but that doesn't mean I can't go and hit Shaniqua from down the block who was like lusting I'm after sorry, me forever. What's her name? Shaniqua. Oh, I heard a Shanook, like a Shaniqua. It sounds like Uka. No? No, Shaniqua. I don't know. It sounds like you spelled it with a U. It, it is spelled with a U, but it's pronounced Two U's. Shaniqua. Oh, my bad. She's European. Got you. Yeah, Shaduka. But um <laughs> But see, that's it. Yeah. Like don't try to make me feel like and I'm not going to accept it either. Like, oh well, you are famous, so I'll take like no. If now if I met you and you she was like, Hey, I don't want a relationship, but I just want to have fun with you. So you're saying if you're choosing to stay, you know, hundred percent with the person, don't don't try to throw it in their face. That's your perspective. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Okay. Like, there is no, like, if you're going to turn back around to me and say, hey, I could have been with this millionaire in Dubai, but I'm here with you. Yeah. You want a fucking cookie? Like, I don't understand. Like, okay. So, I could have been with Shaniqua down the block, but I'm here with you. Like, I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. I get like, you. I do get you. Um, and, and I agree with what you're saying. It's just yeah. that I can also see I can also have an understanding to the other side of I'm choosing to be faithful to you out of all the billions of people. At least show me some love on my loyalty because that's how men think. No. And see, I can appreciate that mm -hmm. because this is how they think. But it's not right. Is that what you're trying to say? No. Like, I can appreciate them thinking like this or saying, hey, like, I'm being faithful. Yeah. If they're just talking to the person, if they're just casually seeing the person, they're like, you know what? Yo, you should be applauding me because, yo, I'm just messing with you and only you right now. Like, whatever. Okay. But then if you decide, I want you to be my wifey, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then at that point, what am I, like, I'm applauding you for doing what you're supposed to do? Like, that doesn't make any sense. You know what? I agree with you, but sometimes I'll put it this way. Sometimes our environment comes out in our speech. So what I mean by that is none of my friends cheat, but I'm just saying, black let's say black men don't cheat exactly. But what I'm saying is 
hypothetically, if my friends, my surrounding friends, and even your friends, I know they cheat, everyone's cheating, everyone's da da da, and I'm the only one that's been staying loyal and strong, the way I'm, I might be saying like, yo, you should be happy. It might, it might not be uh, out, out of you, like you're, you don't, you might not know what I'm saying that or why I'm saying that to you, but it, it could be my reality where I'm just like, you know how all these dudes, how they live in and I'm coming home straight to you. Like you should know how you have a good man. Like you should be happy that I'm staying. So it could be on that type of a tip where it's like their reality is the fact that they see how many people are living that life. And they're like, I'm trying to be the perfect guy for you. And you're not giving me that credit. Like you're not showing me like, like, I don't see you waking up every morning and be like, damn, you're a good man. You're not looking at me like that. You're looking at me like, what was you doing last night? You know, and it's like, I came home. <laughs> I came home to you. <laughs> like, just saying. That's why I could mm. kind of see it. Sometimes the reality comes out without actual, you don't have yeah. the details to go with it. 